Oh, oh, you guys are early. Tech news isn't here yet. Any minute now though, should be fine. Just gonna, you know, do do. I got it, I got it. Hey, there it is. Ooh, news time. Big news up top, folks. You might have heard of a teeny tiny early access video game called Fortnite. Well, if not, ask your grandkids about it because it is now officially released breaking free from its early access chains after only three short, sweet years of countless microtransactions and cosmetic chaos. What many don't realize is that Fortnite originally launched on July 25th, 2017, with the paid for early access main game being a PVE campaign mode called Save the World. So, while simply dropping the early access wording may seem unimportant, this change potentially signals the shift of focus for Epic Games as not only is the game not free to play like originally planned, you can now look forward to less frequent updates in the save the world mode as Epic Games has stated that development of new content will slow down after this official release. Disney has just showcased their own take on the famous deep fake proposing an AI algorithm for fully automatic neural face swapping in images and videos. While sounding both scary and like old news, as deepfakes have kind of existed for a while now, Disney, they have taken things to a whole other level because, well, apparently because they can. In a recently published paper, the House of Mouse's research studios demonstrated their deepfake magic at a full megapixel resolution. Megapixel. For reference, videos made through the popular open source tool Deepfake Lab are limited to 256 by 256 pixels. Disney's solution by contrast is 1024 by 1024. So now you can look forward to your favorite characters living forever and ever and ever. And Samsung has just taken a huge leak all over the internet floor as details for the soon to be announced Note 20, Galaxy Watch 3, and the company's upcoming eight terabyte SSD have just spilled, well, everywhere. High quality images of what is expected to be the upcoming Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Flash Plus briefly appeared on Samsung's official Russian website, depicting a premium looking device accompanied by their signature S Pen. And given that these images are from an official Samsung site and that the design lines up with previously leaked case designs, chances are that this is indeed the Note 20 Ultra Slash Plus and also that someone is now definitely fired. Several software features and reworks have also leaked regarding the also upcoming Galaxy Watch 3 with updated apps and features being discovered as well as a potential announcement or release date, which is July 22nd. So I guess you guys are just gonna have to keep watching to stay up to date on, yeah, well, I know. And last stop for today on the Samsung news train, Samsung has just announced the successor to the 860 Qvo SSD, the very appropriately titled 870 Qvo SSD. The lineup starts at a peasant level capacity of one terabyte for $129.99. Man, that's crazy. And we'll reach all the way up to the stratosphere with eight terabytes of storage for the cool kids, although no exact pricing for that capacity has been announced. That is a lot of bytes. And now it's time for the quack bytes. Brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped's latest kit, the Perfect Package 3.0, includes everything you need to take your grooming routine to the next level. The PP 3.0, as I like to call it, includes their Lawnmower 3.0, which features soft quality ceramic blades, anti-tug adjustable trimmer guards, and advanced skin safe technology to inspire confidence while trimming. I mean, you don't wanna, you don't wanna nick the boys. And with its powerful 7,000 RPM motor, 600 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, ergonomic and waterproof design, and USB powered rapid charging dock, you can manscape anywhere with these. But for the love of all that's good, don't manscape just anywhere, please. Get 20% off and free shipping on the Perfect Package 3.0 when you use code LTT at the link below or on manscaped.com. Now for the Quark Bytes, whatever I called it. Quack Bytes. After six disappointing months, Google has just updated its Stadia Android app. Finally. finally enabling the Stadia controller to work wirelessly with Android devices. So now you can enjoy that subpar gaming experience without pesky cables holding you down. Yeah, because that's why people aren't buying Stadia. 
PlayStation exclusive game creation game tool thing, Dreams, is getting PSVR support. On July 22nd, the Dreams DLC called Inside the Box will go live for free, allowing all users to both play and create their own experiences within virtual reality. Ooh. With that said, I mean, some of those creations were already kind of weird enough, weren't they? I mean, some, some, some dreams are more like nightmares. It should be fine. Google is saving bandwidth during the pandemic, still turning off automatic backups and syncing of media through messaging apps due to the sudden increase in usage. However, fear not, you can simply re-enable the feature in settings so you don't have to worry about your folders losing any of your dankest memes. Not the memes. Finally, Nintendo has doubled down on its digital game as retailers in Europe are no longer able to sell digital codes for their games, limiting sales to physical copies, memberships, and add-ons only, which makes Nintendo's own eShop the only place to purchase digital content. And finally again, Microsoft has updated its guidelines for Forza's car customizations to have a zero tolerance policy for symbols that represent notorious iconography with examples such as the Confederate flag, swastika, or the rising sun symbol. Microsoft won't be automatically banning players for using them. Instead, players will need to submit a ticket to report designs that will then be examined, which is lucky because that, that gives me some time to yeah, to, uh, to update the, the, the Lambo's design because I have so many swastikas. Why do people have swastikas on their cars? Come on! And finally, the rumor mill is stirring when it comes to Apple, as the latest leaks and rumors suggest that future iPhones will no longer come with headphones or a charging brick in the box. And this is all supposedly to reduce electrical waste, but probably more importantly, lower the cost for Apple. Here's a phone, we're not gonna let you charge it. <laughs> That's it for today, folks. Pop in on Friday, you get the latest juicy news. That is, if the world hasn't imploded by then. 2020. Am I right? <laughs>